So you want to combine the Kinect rig with yours. Not a problem. Now any rig can be modified for Kinect. The basic idea is real simple. The Kinect rig controls your rig. If you're using IK, then your arm movement is controlled by an IK handle. Which means that if your rig's handle copies the location and rotation of the Kinect's right hand, then when the Kinect hand moves, then our rig's hand will also move. Which is good, because we want our bone to be in the exact same position as the Kinect bone. But we also want to be able to adjust the position later if we feel like it. Now, you would think that this would be an easy, straightforward problem that we could solve with Blender's copy location and copy rotation constraints. But unfortunately, you would be wrong. Because when you use copy location, you cannot make adjustments to your bone while it's copying the location of another. Now, supposedly with offset enabled, you should be able to copy both the location and still make adjustments. But the problem is that when you enable offset, it destroys the proper location and no longer traces the target accurately. So the copy location constraint is busted. It's been busted for years. The Blender Stack Exchange and I have not been able to find a solution for weeks. And it looks like the dev team is too busy adding new features to Grease Pencil to make sure that their old features work the way professionals would expect them to. Which means that you have to create your own system that does what copy location offset is supposed to do. Ideally, if Blender just worked the way it was supposed to, we could make a straight one-to-one -one port from any motion capture rig to your yours. Let me put it this way. If Blender decided to fix this problem, I could easily design super simple transfer rigs to connect your character to Kinect, to Rokoko, to Neuron, to Maximo, you name it. We could easily combine motion capture rigs left and right no problem. But as it stands, as long as the offset feature ruins world position, we basically have to create our own adjustable copy location system. Now it's totally possible that I'm wrong. And I'm actually hoping that I'm wrong. And that there's some trick that I just don't know about. And that is why I'm going to give Blended 2.9 one more chance to redeem itself. So here's my challenge to any Hotshot Blender defender. If you go into the description, you will find a test file that has two animated Kinect rigs inside. The red rig has an extra bone in it floating around. If you can find a way to get the copy location constraint to get the floating red bone to copy the position of the blue rig's right hand and still maintain the ability to adjust the bone manually like this, email the file to me and if I open the file in your solution works, you will become a hero. And you will literally make everyone's life three times easier in the next few tutorials. Otherwise, I'll show you my method that I've found as a workaround, but I'm really hoping that Blender will prove me wrong and that I don't have to. Anyway, that's the plan. Good luck, hope that clears things up. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.